All right, guys, quick video here. Uh, it may be a little rough around the edges, but I'm actually in between call shifts and working one of the worst freaking rotations I have ever done. But I couldn't wait to make this video because I have stumbled across this amazing gamification add-on in Anki that has it's changed my life. This add-on is called Ankimon, and it makes it possible for you to literally play Pokemon while you're reviewing your Anki flashcards. I'm talking about true blue gamification. This isn't a packing peanut pretending to be a Cheeto. This is the real deal. You pick a starter Pokemon, you train them in random encounters, you catch a new Pokemon, you earn badges, collect items, you can even trade your Pokemon, and you can battle your Pokemon with other Ankimon trainers online, with the teams that you're actually building while you're reviewing flashcards. This add-on is still in the kind of early stages of development, but it's already super high quality and so addicting that despite being in like the worst rotation I've had in all of residency, I have nearly quadrupled the output of my Anki flashcards because of just how fun it is to play this game. In fact, I can't wait to get home to do my Anki flashcards, uh, even though I was just completely beat down for the last 10 hours straight at work. You can find the link to this add-on in the description. I did not create this add-on. I wish I was that cool. This is the work of Anki user Unlucky Life. They are a fellow medical trainee with some obviously sick coding skills. If you're new to Anki add-ons, I'm going to show you really quickly how to get it up and running. Um, some people have said that it's a little bit intimidating at first, but I'll show you what you need to do and get you all set up. Before we get started, it's not a bad idea to export your entire collection, including all of the scheduling information before you do anything drastic, like adding a kind of a chunky add-on like this. This one was fine for me, it didn't ruin any of my stuff. I, I didn't bother backing anything up first because YOLO. So either click the link in the video description or navigate to the add-on page by Googling Anki add-on. This is where you can read all about the add-on here, or you can skip all this cool stuff and go straight to the code. Copy these numbers right here, open up Anki, and navigate to the tools menu, click on add-ons, then click here on get add-ons. This will bring up a dialog box that you can paste that code directly into. So we'll have to restart Anki to be able to get this add-on working. So go ahead and close out of Anki. And now when you open up Anki again, you should see this pop-up here that's telling you some news about the Ankimon add-on and if there's been any changes. This is the only time this will pop up. Because Pokemon stuff is copyrighted, Unlucky Life can't just give us all of the Pokemon images or assets as a pre-packaged collection. Instead, he has included a function that will go out and download all of the files we need from various APIs online. All we need to do is click on the Ankimon tab up here at the top and select download resources. This is super convenient for us, uh, but it does take a long time. But the wait is a thousand percent worth it, trust me. In order to make sure that these downloads happen smoothly and without interruption, I recommend that you navigate to your settings menu and change your computer's sleep time to at least one hour. You don't want your computer to go to sleep while you're downloading these uh, resources because if you do, you're going to have to restart the whole thing. You'll have to delete the add-on, restart Anki, get the add-on, restart Anki again, and then do the whole download process again. So if you change the sleep time to an hour, you can step away, come back, make sure it's still going, um, and it's a lot easier. The whole download took about an hour on my absolutely embarrassing dollar menu internet connection. So it'll probably take you less than that. After you complete the download, we need to restart Anki again. When we do, we should get a pop-up that prompts us to now select our starter Pokemon. Now, since this add-on is still a work in progress, there's gonna be a couple bugs that you might encounter. One of these is that for some people, the text will be completely unreadable um, in some of these windows because for some reason it's presenting dark text on a dark background. I downloaded this add-on twice and one of the times the text was fine and then the second time while I was recording this uh, the text was all screwed up. But it's fine, you're gonna make it through. You can toggle through the different generations of starter Pokemon by simply pressing G. Once you've selected your starter Pokemon you are ready to begin the fun. The game is essentially a continuous stream of random Pokemon encounters that starts as soon as you open Anki. In order to see all this all you have to do is click on the Ankimon tab and select open Akimon window. 
This is the battle that you are currently in. You can view the individual Pokemon in your collection by selecting Show Pokemon Collection. It brings up another window with all of your captured Pokemon. From here, you can see their types and abilities. You can select them as your main Pokemon or the Pokemon you would like to use in your Pokemon encounters. If you click on Show Me Details, you can see all of your Pokemon stats and the current move set your Pokemon has. If you click on Attack Details, you can view the move types, names, category, power, accuracy, move description, all that stuff. There is text up here in the top that you just can't see because of the dark on dark bug, but that's what it says. The way that the battle mechanics work is your Pokemon is going to randomly select a move that it's going to use on every other flashcard you review. So reviewing your flashcards is what powers your Pokemon's progress. But unfortunately at this point, you can't select the move that your Pokemon uses. But I found a way around this. You can simply replace all of your Pokemon's moves with the move that you most want it to be using. All you do is open up Remember Attacks and then click on the move that you want the Pokemon to remember, fill up all of the other slots with this move, and then replace the other moves that you don't want the Pokemon to use. This is an easy way to get rid of any non-damage dealing moves so that you don't waste time spamming Growl 10 times uh, in a row. And you can change your Pokemon's moves as much as you want and as many times as you want so you can do this to your heart's content. Every time you pick a new Pokemon as your main Pokemon, you will refresh this encounter and you'll be facing a completely new Pokemon. Damage is dealt to the wild Pokemon until you defeat it. At this point, you'll have the option to either gain XP from defeating the Pokemon or to catch it. If you choose to catch the Pokemon, uh, you're not going to get any XP, just like in the real game. This is where you go if you'd like to trade your Pokemon. Clicking on Trade Pokemon will generate a unique Pokemon code that you send to your friend. Um, and then they give you a code for their Pokemon, and then you can complete that trade. You will receive items along the way as you complete certain tasks, like if you review the add-on, you get an item. Uh, whenever you finish your flashcards for the day, you might get an item. Uh, certain streaks will give you items. You can view all the items that you have in your Ankimon tab by clicking on the item bag. This is where you can assign items to Pokemon as well to have them hold items during battle, um, or use items on Pokemon to make them evolve or whatever. The Achievements tab is where you can keep track of all of the achievements you earn while studying and playing the game. The last thing I want to show you is how you can actually use your own Pokemon to fight other people online. Uh, the battles take place via the Pokemon Showdown website. This is a platform for people to build teams and use them to challenge other players across the globe. Similar to how you might have used a link or Wi-Fi to challenge your friends um, in the Pokemon games. In order to get your Pokemon into Pokemon Showdown, you just need to click on the Ankimon tab, just scroll down here to open Pokemon Showdown Team Builder. And then from here, um, we can select a new team. And then you're gonna need to select a format. The best option for you is probably this format right here called Gen 7 Pure Hackmons. This is because you might be using some Pokemon that don't necessarily follow the rules of a lot of these other formats. and Pure Hackmons is kind of like a true anything goes type of situation, which will allow you to have any kind of shenanigans going on that you want, i.e. my Pokemon with four of the same move. Now let's go back to Anki, and from within the Ankimon tab, we can either select export main Pokemon to Pokemon Showdown, and what that's going to do is it's going to copy all of our main Pokemon's stats and copy that to our clipboard so that we can paste this into the team builder. Um, or alternatively, you can export all of your Pokemon to Pokemon Showdown at once. We'll come back over here, click this import from text or URL, and then simply paste your Pokemon's information into this document. Now, typically a Pokemon team is only going to be six Pokemon, um, so we might have to get rid of some of these folks, but it is kind of an easy way to get your whole Pokemon collection in and then go through and choose the ones that you want to use. And we can just click save. And now we have all of our Pokemon here. We can go through and delete the ones that we don't want to be using super easily and build our team. You can then click on the home tab and search for your friends by username and, or find a random battle. My understanding is that the competitive Pokemon scene can be pretty toxic. so. Venture out into the wild at your own risk. I would just stick to dominating my friends and family if I were you. 
So there you have it. That is the whirlwind tour through this amazing Akimon add-on. If you have any issues with it, there's a Discord as well as a Reddit dedicated to this Ankimon add-on um, where they have a bunch of people who can answer questions for you. Um, they've got frequently asked questions and there's also a Git repository which you can find within the Ankimon add-on itself. So if you go to the Ankimon tab, you can select report bug and this will link you directly to the Git repository. A lot of the issues that you might be having have probably already been addressed here. There are a couple of things that I'm hoping will be added to this add-on in the near future. Um, for one thing, I think it would be great if we could manually select the next move that our Pokemon would use in battle. That would just make it a lot more engaging. It would let you kind of use some of your Pokemon knowledge to kind of direct the battle a little bit more. It'd be great if we could switch Pokemon mid-battle without canceling out the encounter so we could uh, gain type advantages and again kind of feel a little bit more engaged in the battle. And that's it. Uh, check out this add-on. It's amazing. It's addicting. It's completely changed my attitude towards my Anki reviews. Now doing Anki feels like a break. <laughs>